you have spent a thousand to two thousand dollars on airline flights uh, hotel and resort rooms and you've flown into another country perhaps the Philippines and this happens I found this on uh, CDN which is Cebu Daily News this morning and uh, the PH Philippines bans rude American national over profane info on the e-travel form well, the e-travel form is a form you need to fill out it's uh, online don't need it on your phone. You don't need an app on your phone, but you fill it out online. Give your name, the, your address, uh, other information, where you're going to be staying, this sort of thing. Anyway, this guy, uh, the BI, which is Bureau of Immigration, uh, found this guy at the airport when he was trying to enter the Philippines, uh, I think a day or two ago. Bars Rude American, who wrote expletives in e-travel for misconduct. Now, who would do that? You know, I know a lot of you, or some of you, have, have a little bit of an attitude about this e-travel system. But as I've said in other videos, uh, it shouldn't be that big of an issue. The, the Philippines does not have a real sophisticated system to track people. And it's uh, not like uh, 1984, like some other countries are getting there. Anyway, the Bureau of Immigration said an American national was permanently banned from entering the Philippines after showing rude conduct and putting false and profane information in the travel system, e-travel system. Hint, hint. Probably shouldn't do that. Agent, agents identified the foreigners, Anthony Joseph Lawrence, who arrived at uh, the Manila Airport on Tuesday, November 7th. BI Commissioner... Uh, said Lawrence uh, was reminded to fill out the e-travel form upon arrival at the airport, but the foreigner allegedly showed aversion. The foreigner also allegedly angrily tossed his passport and mobile phone to an immigration officer. Hint, hint, probably shouldn't do that. Don't cop an attitude. The travel system was designed to replace paper-based arrival and departure cards, and it must be filled out at least 72 hours prior to arrival in the Philippines, according to the agency. After verifying in our system, the officer discovered that the passenger keyed in a made-up ad address in the Philippines, did not include his full name, and inputted profane words in his entry. Hint, hint probably don't want to be doing that after spending a couple thousand dollars to travel to another country. The BI chief likewise said that while immigration officers are advised to exercise maximum tolerance, and I, I believe they do, I've had uh, really good luck at uh, the offices, uh, he had overstepped his boundaries and Lawrence was deported and placed in the country's blacklist of foreigners who may no longer enter the Philippines. Our agency is committed to ensuring seamless experience to the traveling public. We expect all individuals to conduct themselves with respect and adhere to the established procedures. Any violation of these procedures will be dealt with firmly. For this year, now get this, for this year, BI, Bureau of Immigration, said that 44 foreigners who show disrespect to symbols of Philippine authority have been banned from entering the country. Now I will tell you this, all, all the various offices, Bureau of Immigration offices and other offices in the Philippines, they have some discretion on who they allow in here. And uh, you know, if you've got an attitude, if you disrespect their authority, you are a guest here. Uh, there is a chance that they're not gonna allow you in the country. And you've just, you've just blown a whole lot of money and your chances to ever come back to the Philippines again. Put yourself in their place. You're an immigration officer at, at an airport in some country, and uh, you're dealing with people. Your, your second language is English, and you have people coming from hundreds of different countries with different accents and different pronunciations. And uh, maybe you've had a bad day or night before, and... <laughs> And the first thing you do, you go to work and you, uh, this guy shows up, you know, somebody like this guy with an attitude. 
and you're already in, in, a, in a bit of an attitude yourself. And uh, you, you know you have the discretion. You have the discretion authority just to say, hey, bud, out of here. You're not, you're not going to visit our country. Uh, so put yourself in their in their way, and uh, you know I know these guys at immigration offices. They they deal with so many people, and they try to explain the rules to them. And I I, I can see that uh, many of the people they they walk out of there and they're still not quite sure what how they have to comply with filling out the various forms. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay nice. See you next time.